Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the blue screen error message you're receiving. That's ntkrnlmp.exe. So if you're coming across this issue on your computer, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple of commands in the description of the video, or I should say a few commands. Go ahead and copy the first one and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select that and paste it in. It's basically just verifier space forward slash reset. Hit enter and if there's any settings change it should say so right there and then we're going to do the same thing for the next command so go ahead and paste that in as well hit enter and then the system reboot is required for the changes to take effect close out of here and you want to restart your computer at this time And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try as well would be to open up the search menu again, go back into CMD, right-click on the command prompt, and then run as administrator. Select yes. And now I will have more commands. The next one's going to be a DISM command. Go ahead and copy that, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here, right-click on it, select that, and paste that in. and then give us a few minutes to run.
So once that's finished, go ahead and run the System File Checker Utility Scan. That'll also be in the description of my video as well. This will be the last command we're going to run for this video. Once that is finished, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.